so last time we discuss about the concept of the magnetic field with electric current today we will discuss about faraday's law of electromagnetic induction Okay, uh, basically, if you remember, we discussed that there will be a concept of an induced EMF, right? And we discussed about yes. that induced EMF concept. But uh, there is not a formula or there was not an equation that helped us to identify the exact value of induced EMF, right? That how to find yes. out the value of induced EMF. We discussed about Lenz law. And Lenz yes. law explains the direction of the north pole south pole the magnetic field the electric current but still we are not able to identify the exact value of induced emf so to find out that uh, value of induced emf uh, we have to discuss about faraday's law and faraday's law gives you the concept of the magnitude of induced emf and if you remember the concept so in the concept we discuss yes so in this concept, uh, we discussed that if we move wire through the magnetic field, if we move magnet through the, uh, the wire or the coil, so that will induce an EMF, right? Yes. So that is the concept. Then how to find out the uh, exact value of the induced EMF or what are the factors on which it depends? So let's suppose if we discuss that concept, So Faraday's law equals to, or we can say that Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction in, explains that an induced EMF, or we can simply write EMF induced in the conductor is directly to the is it like a rule like how to find uh, yes how to find out the magnitude or what are the factors on which it depends right so induced EMF or the EMF induced in the conductor is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage. Okay, basically the concept of the magnetic flux is very simple. We use uh, the concept of flux in our daily life, just like the flux of the traffic is very high the flux of the people on the road like this. What is the like, meaning of flux? Yes. So basically flux explains you uh, in scientific term we are using. So the meaning of flux is number of yeah. number of magnetic field lines mm -hmm. passing through a specific area, right? Right. So let's suppose if you consider yeah. any specific area and number of lines are passing through that. So when number of lines increased over there, when number of lines decreased over there, so your induced EMF or EMF uh, 
the value of the induced emf will decrease or increase according to the number of lines okay yeah so this is the concept of faraday's law so basically okay. it depends upon the number of field lines passing through the certain area right yeah and further if we want to write about some uh, factors that what are the factors on which the induced emf depends and you consider uh, the same diagram that we discussed previously when magnet moves into the coil let's suppose if we again consider that <laughs> so if we consider a coil and that coil is connected with an m meter and we consider a magnet how do we know how much lines are passing okay so basically uh, we are not calculating the exact number of lines right but if you uh, consider or if you use the devices to calculate that magnetic field line right so that will help you to find out the value we are not going to calculate the exact value we are not going to uh, discuss about how to count number of lines uh, in your theory section right because we are only talking about the initial concept because we are talking about we are learning these all concept for the first time okay uh, so when you discuss uh, when you discuss these concept on advanced level so that will help you to identify the exact value with the help of different devices with the help of different instruments right yeah so this is the concept so for the time being we are only talking about the theoretical concept so we only discuss the theoretical concept because uh, there is no such calculation related uh, to this law there is no formula related to this topic included in your syllabus so that's why uh right so there is a magnet we are using so when uh, we try to move this magnet into the coil or out of the coil so there are two possibilities either we move the coil or either we take this away from the coil okay and definitely there will be magnetic field lines coming out from it like this so basically you can see that there are three uh, number of field lines just for the reference we drawn three uh, field lines coming into the coil right and you can see it only covers yeah. two and a half coil right and the half yeah. of the coil is completely empty without the reference of magnetic field okay, okay. so basically when you move a magnet into the coil so definitely your magnetic field lines into the coil will automatically increase right and when you take magnet away from the coil so your field lines into the coil will automatically decrease right yes so this is the concept and by this reference you can understand the thing that how faraday's law help us to find out the value of induced emf okay basically what we know okay. we just calculate the magnetic field lines in the given time right because rate of change of rate of change of means there is also a quantity of time included over there so we just record the reading for let's suppose 1 minute and then divide by 60 so you will get the change of magnetic field lines in 1 second okay just like the other experiment okay. we perform for half an hour or 10 minutes 20 minutes or just like the oscillations we count and then divide by number of oscillations so you will get the value of one unit quantity so same goes with the faraday's law okay 
okay and one more thing that is important and if you want to further explain this magnetic flux linkage so we can uh, further discuss about magnetic flux linkage like this you can say that it can be understood as interaction of <laughs> magnetic field lines with the coil okay so this is okay. uh, the further explanation of magnetic flux linkage if you further want to explain the concept okay so this is the thing okay. secondly uh we know that how to uh, induce emf in the coil right because we already discussed that method so we are not going to discuss that again we are going to discuss about some factors or you can say that there are some important things that will increase or decrease the value of induced emf so basically if we talk about some factors so uh, let's suppose we are going to talk about how to increase the induced emf in the circuit or how to decrease the induced emf in the circuit or what are the other factors that will uh, change or that will make the change in induced emf any idea or any factor that uh, comes in your mind related to the induced emf uh, like the way the temperature or the any anything because a diagram is in front of you and you know the process how to induce emf in the circuit so by using all that concept uh, can you identify any factor that helps you to increase the value of induced emf or that will affect the value of induced emf in simple words okay let's suppose uh, maybe one thing okay you may mention first okay. you are seeing something no no it's fine you can no okay so basically let's suppose if you quickly or if you just move that magnet with very fast speed or if you move that magnet with very slow speed right so do you think that will change the value of induced emf like yes, if we do fast as we more yes. because there is a concept of rate of change rate of change means if you use very short time interval so definitely your deflection of ammeter or your value of induced emf will be greater okay so the first factor that we uh, observe from the diagram is greater movement of the magnet So it means speed of the magnet is directly proportional to the induced EMF. Okay. Right. And uh, yes, any other factor? Now you have a reference factor. So uh, that... Maybe like. Hmm? Um, like about how much is coil? Yes, very good. So the second factor is it dep also depends upon the number of turns in the coil, right? Because if yes. coil is very short, so definitely it will not generate a 
greater value of induced emf yes so greater the number of turns in the coil when induced emf any other factor um no that's it okay and let's suppose if we use a strong magnet so is there any possibility of change well, the more stronger the more amount yes so using the stronger magnet yes using a stronger magnet will increase the value of an induced emf and there is one more thing that will change uh, that will make the change in an emf so can you identify that point also what happen if uh, we reverse uh, the direction or if we reverse the pole uh, also uh, if the reverse will be slow uh basically if you reverse the direction so definitely the direction of emf will also reverse right yes so that will not increase or decrease that actually reverse the direction only right also oh, doesn't affect this uh, thing yes it will not affect on the magnitude it will affect the direction okay <laughs> so these are the factors uh, related to uh oh. induced emf right and we also discuss few questions related to yes. electromagnetism last time if you further discuss about now uh, from next class we are going to discuss about another factor of forces also right because there is also another quantity that gives you the concept of forces that how to produce force using uh, this concept right okay but before that if we consider yes, okay. questions because we discuss about lenz law electromagnetic effect emf uh, induced so if you answer question number 5 uh the number uh, c okay increasing the speed at which the magnet enters the coil increases the induced voltage or okay and other options in move left hand side call become a in order to demonstrate the, electromagnetic this one as the magnet is taken out of the coil the left hand of the coil becomes a north pole no that's not possible as the magnet is move in that is not also possible yes so c is the right option right it actually related to yeah. the increase in speed with increase in induced emf
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन so any idea how to answer this question um. so basically p and q represents two parallel straight wires basically this is the topic that we discussed yesterday and yeah. p and q exerts a force on each other so which arrow shows the force on q the uh, a uh basically uh, what what is the direction of electric current can you identify like it's going towards it so okay so basically current is moving into the page right yes so it... into the paper into the paper right yes yeah. so basically when the direction of electric current uh, for both uh, wires are same so definitely your field will be same right and if you remember yesterday we discussed this concept that the direction of force will be force of attraction towards each other right so it means yes. uh, this will be direction yes. so d is the right answer you can also be a because it's also going inside the like outside Uh, yes but basically uh, if wire is placed over here so then it will be a yeah. right because another wire is okay. placed on left hand side okay okay let's consider okay this is the same repeated question Question twenty four. So basically, each of diagram shows a cross section through two parallel wires. Again, current carrying conductors. It means. which diagram shows the shape of the magnetic field pattern and the direction of the forces on the two conductors so what do you think um uh, it'll be this uh c c so basically if we consider uh, the c okay so in c a uh, current is moving into the page for the first part and out of the page in the second part right yeah, yes. the reference key yes. are also mentioned so basically they will make opposite direction of forces right just like this yes. diagram we discussed yesterday so that is c will be the right answer right yes okay okay so uh, these are some concepts related to the electromagnetic concepts right yeah and uh, in next class we will start with uh, the concept of the force also right when we are using magnetic field and electric current so there is an other quantity induced over there that quantity is known as the quantity of force right yeah